Hey folks, Queen Real Kill Candy, and today we're doing, um, it's a repack opening. So basically I went to, um, this, uh, toy and card, um, they call it a convention, but it was really kind of like a flea market for a day thing. And they had these for like $5. Maybe there's junk in here, maybe there's good stuff. I don't know. Let's, does this not want to open? Come on, come on. Hang on. All right, so I, I got it all off, and I hope you cannot hear my 3D printer in the background, because I am printing the deck box for this. Um, yeah, let's see what we got in here. So the guy had, like, a bunch of loose Pokemon cards. He had graded cards. I got some graded cards from him. I used binder, um, different things like that. So my friends were all like, this reminds us of you. You should get it. So I did. That's cool. I'm not really familiar with the new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Honestly, I really only know like the classic three or four sets. Um, I bought some newer sets uh, when the, what was it? The crystal deck was a thing and a few other, like I bought some pre-made decks because I've like always been meaning to get back into it. Oh nice, a tuner. I did get a deck of tuners, I remember that. Uh, my original favorite is the, um, what is it? It's that doll that keeps coming back to life. The, like, possessed doll or whatever. That's was my favorite card from the original ones. It was just so insane. So again, I don't know if these are good cards. I don't know anything about modern Yu-Gi-Oh. I did buy a modern Yu-Gi-Oh deck for my husband so he could play with me. And then I was going to buy myself one, but then I think I just forgot because they were sold out of the, the modern deck that I wanted. Um, yeah. Oh, this is cool looking. Googly Eyes Drum Dragon. <laughs> I like that. It's the first edition, guys. A lot of these are first editions. Um, what deck, like I still have all my old original, um, Blue Eyes White Dragon cards, I have my original, um, Dark Magician cards, bunch of stuff like that, like I'm thinking of actually instead of playing with those, because I know they're actually worth some money, uh, getting those graded, and then just buying all new cards, because I have all the old stuff, right, and I don't really want to ruin it if it's worth money. Ooh, I have a zombie deck, actually. I bought one of the original printings of the zombie deck. I didn't even play anymore at the time. I was just like, mmm, zombies bought it and left. <laughs> Again, I bought a few pre-made decks, but haven't really played anything modern. Um, most people in my area play Magic the Gathering. Um, some people play Pokemon, but it's kind of the... Um, all I could say is really like, you know the uh, bad stereotype for Smash players? That's really the Yu-Gi-Oh scene in my city. So that's why I really just haven't gotten back into Yu-Gi-Oh as much as I'd like to. Because it's it's basically Smash community. Like all the memes, the negative memes of the Smash community. That's, that's pretty much the Yu-Gi-Oh community here. Which, yeah. Which is why I play, <laughs> well, I played Magic. I haven't... Uh, in a while because it's just so expensive um but yeah thanks so much for watching please like and subscribe hit that bell icon and um tell me is your Yu-Gi-Oh community better than my Yu-Gi-Oh community is it uh exactly as the smash community memes are or uh is it a lot more um sane <laughs> thanks so much bye